Hi. Today we're going to drill a hole in rubber using a die grinder or a Dremel tool or a rotary tool. Um, if you try to drill in rubber with a typical machining tool, this is what I got. I couldn't get a very good hole. It's pretty tore up. So my next attempt is to use this little rotary bit. Um, the tip is um, kind of outwardly coned, sharp at the tip. This is my holder here. It matches the the stopper coned surface. I used a lathe to create an inward coned surface. All right, let's try to do some machining here and see what happens. So I'm going to turn on the lathe and the die grinder. So much for that one. My settings were a bit off. That's a whole bunch of cutting stuff. So let me retry this. Move this in a bit. So let's see how that lines up. A wee bit of a slant to that. So I was wanting to get this this thing to be slightly that way for one reason or another, but getting too close to the outside diameter of that cone surface. You see that's uh, eating away pretty thin there. So one more time. And I'm afraid I don't have any more stoppers. I don't have any more stoppers. The stoppers are all gone. All gone. All gone. You can't be all gone. There's got to be a stopper somewhere. You know, if you bring a hundred stoppers to a room, all right, here's a stopper with a hole already in it, but it's the hole is too small, too small, too small, too small. We're going to make the hole a little bigger. Yeah, you heard it here first on your YouTube video entertainment system. So let me get my high quality professional lighting system here adjusted so you can see the action. That's called machine porn. Machine porn. 
Sorry, folks. Didn't have my vitamins this morning. Everything's going wrong. It's going wrong. Oh, it's so wrong. Life isn't so simple as you see in these videos. It's complicated. Life is complicated. All the pieces are falling everywhere. It's like Hillary Clinton trying to get elected. All she needs is a script. And then old Donald Trump walks in there. He don't need no script. He just starts a yakking. And he attracts the attention of everybody. Okay, back to my stopper. Okay, not the best stopper. See all my deceased graveyard stoppers here? Look at them dead, dying, homeless, no job, no future, just abandoned. Partly cut hole, didn't make it all the way through. Didn't make it. It's not one of the chosen people. You probably see this guy standing at the front of a street sign asking for money with a little piece of cardboard that nobody can read. What's the problem with that? Do you really want him to read it? All right, pardon me. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something a little bit completely different here. I'm going to straighten out a nasty hole. That's right. I'm going to... I'm going to rehabilitate this hole to the best of my abilities. I'm going to give this a decent hole so it can have a decent life as a stopper. Okay, here goes. One more time. We start the last bit. It spins the belt. Of course, of course, of course. this whole bit. Let's see how good of a job we did. We'll get it here under the light, the inspection microscope. See if the darn thing will focus. Uh, it looks more like a hole. There's some tears and taggers and the thing just won't focus. I don't like this camera. It just doesn't have a good focus. Oh boy. Well there you go. You can machine rubber using a Dremel tool. Of course a generic Dremel tool from Chicago Electric. And it spins really fast and cuts your hole. Thank you very much. Bye.